The workshop task is to import employee central pick list. Some considerations we need to remember are, one, we only need to import pick lists specific to Germany. Two, several German specific pick lists already exist in the system. In a typical implementation, Easy Master Picklist MDF is available in the download center. In this workshop, you are also provided this copy. You need to download and open the zip file. Use the filters to narrow down the file. Search the country-specific pick list code, in this case, the EU. Copy and transfer the data to an empty sheet. Do not forget that there are country-specific child pick lists, and these are indicated by the parent pick list ISO country code. So you can narrow it down using the parent pick list column. Again, just the DEU. And copy and transfer it again on your clean file. Next, you have to do exactly the same thing in the miscellaneous tab. Narrow down the search in the pick list code, again, using ISO country code DEU. Copy and transfer it to your clean file. And the same thing, you have to narrow down for and search for the child pick list. And again, copy and transfer. Now, we need to make sure that we are not uploading or importing anything that already exists in the system. So let's go ahead and uh, go to Picklist Center. And this time just search for anything DEU. So we have three picklists here. We have to make sure this is deleted from our file. Let's start with state the EU. Then followed by disable the EU. And then finally verification type the EU. And then next, we have to look for the child pick list. Make sure that it doesn't exist in the system. So contract type, we don't have anything for the EU. And this should retain remain. And we should look for pay scale area. Again, it doesn't exist. So this should remain. Next, a scale type. Also doesn't exist. And next, notice period. This time it exists. And let's take a look if we have 
German specific, we do. So this should be deleted. And then last, set base up. And again, it seems like this already exists. And yeah, this is for Germany. So let's go ahead and delete that. All right, this time around, let's go ahead and download a template. Let's start with the big list template. After downloading, let's go ahead and transfer the unique values from our clean file onto our template file. Let's go ahead and import. We first have to make sure that we don't get any error messages. So before importing, we have to make sure that we validate as well. After it's successfully uploaded, let's go ahead and download a template for the picklist values. In the same manner, we are just going to transfer the values onto our template. And then let's go ahead and import. And again, making sure that we don't get any error messages, we need to validate before import. After successfully uploading, let's go ahead and verify if the picklist and picklist values exist. And your picklist center, we can now see if we search for the EU, we now have nine instead of three. And then of course, those picklists that are a child, we can see them 